Sure. Let's brainstorm. Okay. So it is, uh, do you know what I mean by a part? Yes. So yeah. uh, from, from my understanding, a part is uh, uh, a way of thinking that is different from other ways of thinking uh, for an individual based on past trauma or past experiences. Yeah. Correct. Yeah. yeah, very much. So if there is any kind of uh, belief or emotion or thought pattern or even sensation that gets in your way in your life, that would be uh, a target for this work. So you can think of anything like that, that's a place we could start. Okay, um, sure. Way. So yes. I can give you a little bit of, um, I guess a little bit of background about who I am. Great. And then um, that'll help you pull some stuff out of it. Great. Uh, so basically what I do is um, basically an image coach. So um, I started, my, my story starts about six, seven years ago, I was a bus driver. You know, mm -hmm. I hated it. I was approaching 30, I had a son, he was two. And then I found out my girlfriend was cheating on me. Mm -hmm. And then from that moment, I realized um, I needed to make a change in myself. Mm -hmm. You know, I felt like I, I wasn't who I, want, who I wanted to be. Mm -hmm. So one day I was watching The Godfather and I was looking at the men in The Godfather and I said, you know what? Um, Michael Corleone wouldn't be dealing with this issues like this. So let me improve my image. And I started mm -hmm. to wear my professional clothes when I didn't need to. Mm -hmm. And from there, people started to look at me different. And when I looked mm -hmm. in the mirror, I seen a different person. And it became uncomfortable to be a bus driver. It became uncomfortable to be lazy. And, I, and I, before long, I became a COO of a nonprofit organization. Wow. So I, I started helping my friends. They started making more money dating hotter women. And I realized there was something to improving how a man dresses that changes him. Mm -hmm. And I started to help other guys. So, you know, that's the quick story. But basically, that's what I do now. That's very cool. Congratulations on that, uh, the, all that work you did. Thanks. Um, so as you do that, and as you have done that for yourself, are there any parts of you that get in the way? Or do you ever question uh, whether you really f fit that image or have a critic inside that says that you don't? Or, you know what I'm asking? Yeah, so um, no, I never have, a, I never have any, any critic regarding my image, but I do have critic regarding my success in business. So um, because what I do is not, is not very, uh, I guess, common, you know, like there are people who teach guys how to dress better, right. but I come from the angle of improving a man's life, right? Mm -hmm. I come from the angle of using his appearance as a tool to be better with people, mm -hmm. to improve his self image and these things. And so I have been working to, uh, I guess, clarify that message in my marketing and where I speak about what I do. Um, and so success isn't always as easy because having a proper conversation, um, doesn't always happen when I, when I'm addressing my business. So that's, that's the one area. The other area is that I, being an entrepreneur and also a father, a single father. Mm -hmm. So now being a single father, my son, he's now nine and I'm now living for him as well. Right. Mm -hmm. It's important for me to succeed because I am the primary parent you know, much more active than his mom is. Mm -hmm. So, um, so there's that, I guess that, uh, responsibility mm -hmm. that I, I'm working towards and that keeps me going and make sure that I get up in the morning and continue doing things, even though success may not be coming as fast as I may want. Got it. So, so there's a part of you that kind of pushes you in that way, uh, to get up every morning and, and do what you need to do. And does it fight against other parts of you that uh, question what you should be doing or want to do other things? Yeah, so the two main focuses in my life now is my business, developing my business, and then my son. Because now he's at an age now where I can have deep conversations with him. Uh -huh. You know, so him and I, we have these deep conversations about just everything, you know. Uh -huh. um, but a lot of times, there's a lot of pressure. There's a lot of pressure to be a, like, I wish I can just be a regular person sometimes and get a regular job and do regular stuff mm -hmm. yet i wouldn't want to take away the responsibility i have because without my business it's like you know that's been my focus mm -hmm. and without my son being around then that's 
also the love. So it's like, even though these two, these two things I love give me pressure, there are times when I'm lazy. There's times when I'm playing video games. There's times when I'm trying to escape yeah. from, you know, whatever I need to be doing because it's like, you know, not nah, stuff I got to, and when I do have those times where I'm just sitting around, I, I'm, I'm almost beating myself up. Like I shouldn't be doing this right now. Right. There's other things I, sh I should be doing, you know, yeah. then I don't enjoy the time that I'm wasting because exactly. I'm thinking about what I should be doing. Yeah. So that's the kind of thing that the conflict you just described is the kind of thing that uh, this works really well for. And so that's what we could work on if you want. Awesome. Okay. So, yeah. So there, when you're doing the video games or, you know, uh, trying to relax in certain ways, there's a kind of a part of you that gnaws at you and just keeps telling you, you can't waste time. You got to do other things, something like that. Right. And then that interferes with being able to really relax. Right. So you never really have a chance to, to chill. Right. Does that sound right? Yep. Okay. So we could start with the one who's um, pushing you all the time as the target part to start with. How does that sound? Sure. All right. All right. So how to do this is pretty simple. You just focus on that, that thought or that voice inside, that, that impulse, and then see where you find it in your body, around your body. Mm -hmm. So why don't you try that for a second and see if you can locate it. Um, I feel like it's uh, it's between my head and my chest area, okay. I guess. Great. And as you notice it there, how do you feel toward it? In other words, do you hate it or you kind of respect it because it tries to get you to do things or you're annoyed by it or you fear it? How do you feel toward it as you notice it? Um. I feel I don't feel angry by it, but I feel like a uh, like it pushes me. Like I feel like it's it is um, like it's too pushy, or it could be like it could be annoying. Yeah, you know? that makes, yeah, that like, makes yeah, like it could be it could be annoying to feel that feeling all the time. All the time, that's right. Yeah. So that totally makes sense. But we're gonna ask the parts of you that are annoyed by it to relax a little bit so we can just get to know it better. So see if it's possible to shift into a kind of curious place about it. Okay, so is that how you feel toward it now? Open to getting to know it? Yeah. All right, so this might feel a little bit odd at first, but I'm gonna invite you to ask it, focus on it again and ask it what it wants you to know about why it pushes you so much. And then just wait for an answer to come. Don't think of the answer. So just ask inside that place uh, that you found it in and just wait for it to answer that question. So I feel like it's, uh, it's because It's because without, if I don't succeed, if I don't make it, then uh, there's no, there's no one coming to my rescue. Okay. You know? Yeah. So it says you're, you're kind of on your own. Right. 
uh, and somebody's got to make you do this because there's nobody else to do it for you or, or to help you with it. Right. Does that make sense to you, Tyron? Yeah. yeah. So let it know that that makes sense, that it's kind of desperate that way, that it really, really feels like it's got to really bug you all the time to make sure you succeed. Yeah, because if I don't, then I, then I'm, I'm, I'm there is no, um, there's no other way I'm going to be, I'm going to survive. There's no safety nets. No safety net. That's right. Okay. So focus on it again. And just from you, just let it know you appreciate how hard it's working to try and keep you safe and, and make you succeed. And just see how it reacts to your appreciation. So I think uh, it's weird. I think a part of a part of me um, is doing it also because it believes that I should be. Uh -huh. supposed to okay you know, so, make, so that's another area of okay so check and see if that's a separate part or if it's coming from the same place It's coming from the same place, it seems. Okay, good. All right. So let this part know. You get it has these two motives. One is to make sure you succeed, and the other is because you should be doing this. You, it feels like it's kind of some kind of a, a moral obligation, it sounds like. Yeah. Is that right? Yeah. Okay. So, again, just um, for now, See if you can extend some appreciation to it again for, for trying to push you this much to get you to do these things, even though it's annoying sometimes. Let it know you get its intentions are really good and you value that. Right. And just see how it reacts to your appreciation. All right. Um, okay. Did you get a yeah. sense of a reaction? Um, it's more like a, like a, uh, a feeling that, I guess the part that's talking to that part is saying, you know, I'm happy you get it now or something, you know? Yeah. It's saying it's happy you get it. Yeah. Okay, good. Yeah. And ask it what it's afraid would happen if it, if it didn't hound you all the time. You know, why can't it settle for pushing you sometimes, but let you rest sometimes? Do you know what I'm asking? Mm -hmm. Just ask it that question and see what it says. All right. Um, so I think I feel like, uh, 
if I don't, if it doesn't push me and let me rest, I'll rest too much. Okay. And slip back and probably slip back into a place that I was before. Oh, okay. I was the bus driver. Right. You know, because that was a part of me that was just being lazy in life, you know, slacking off. Yeah, yeah. And then that's when everything kind of came down. So it's like, if you rest, if you, you get used to resting, you know, you're going to slip back into a worse place. And now you don't have the safety net of um, a relationship or a second income and stuff like that, you know? Yeah. Does that all make sense to you, Tyron? Yeah. So let it know you get that. And that, you know, there, it sounds like there is a part of you that, that might do that if it, if it uh, was given a chance. Is that true? Um, I think so. Yeah, I think so. All right. So my inclination would be to try to go to that part, the one who you think of as lazy part, and see if we can work with that and work something out between these two parts. So they're not in battle all the time. Okay. How would that be for you? Um, it would be good. So ask this one that we've been talking to, if it's willing to let us talk to the other one, the lazy guy. Okay. Okay. And, and find that one in your body or around your body. So I feel like that part is like lower in my stomach area. Okay. And as you notice it down there? Okay. Yeah, that's what I feel it is. And as you notice it there, how do you feel toward it? Um, not so good. I feel like, I feel like that part is fighting to be to be uh, to have his way, but I'm on the other. I'm on the side of the other part. It seems. Yeah, yeah. I I I can understand that. So, but we're going to ask the other part to let us get to know this one without a lot of uh, attitude, and then maybe we can help the the lazy guy not have to do that so much. Not have to. We'll, we'll just see why he wants that so much. And we might be able to help him not be so lazy. But we can't do that if you're, if you're angry at him. Does that make sense? Yeah. So see if the other guy will step back a little and give us some space so we can get to know this guy. OK. All right, so how do you feel now toward the lazy guy in your in your stomach and your back. Um, curious. So let them know. Curious to uh, to get to know, you know, to get to know that part. Perfect. So let them know you're curious. You want to know why he wants to do what he wants, and just see what he says. Just wait for an answer to come from that place in your body, and don't think of the answer. Just wait. And see what he says.
Um, so I feel like it's saying uh, if it doesn't, if I'm not lazy, like if I don't do those things and I'm never going to um, like celebrate or like enjoy life. I'm going to spend time. I'm not, I'm not going to spend any time relaxing if I don't. Yeah. I'm going to continue. I'm going to work forever. Yeah. And not have any time to, to hang out or anything. You know? Yeah. Does that make sense, Tyron? Yeah. So let him know he's got a point too. Let him know you hear that. And see how he reacts to being heard finally. Okay, good. He feels good? Okay. Now, will he admit that before he was too powerful and he was not getting you to do enough? Let's see if he agrees with that. Yeah. Okay. So he's, he can understand the other guy's point too, is that right? I think I think that the lazy part feel like um, it was his fault for for um, you know the bus driver, the cheat, like the like the life kind of going downhill. The lifestyle. Okay, so he yeah. feels guilty about that. Is, he, is that what he's saying? Yeah, feels guilty. Okay. All right. So how do you feel toward him as you hear that? Um, I mean, I feel like, I feel like that part is, uh, is doing what it does, what it would do. That's, that's what it would do. You know, it's, it, I think that it's, even though, um, it's almost like if you, if I allowed that part to, to have the, the control, right. that's what I should expect anyway. And so it's, it's, that part is doing what, it's, what it does. Well, ask so him, that part is just doing what it's supposed to do. Ask him if that's true. Ask, just ask if, if he had control now, would he just go back to doing all that or does he feel bad about it? So it's like, um, if it had control now, it wouldn't take it that far, I guess. That's what he's saying? It wouldn't take it so far, taking okay. complete control. Yeah, like taking complete control to where um, it would, it would just like, you know, slip back to whatever has been built so far. Yeah. All right, so he doesn't want to go back there either, it sounds like. He's sort of happy that you pulled yourself out of that. Right. Okay. Ask him if he'd be willing to talk directly to this other guy so we can work something out between them, the two of them. Okay. He said, okay. Yeah. Then go to the other guy and see if he's willing to talk to this guy.
All right. Is that okay? Yeah. All right. So let's bring them together in your mind. And you're going to kind of help them talk to each other respectfully. So just see when you can get them in a place where they're kind of facing each other. Okay. Do you see them or you just yeah. sense them in there? I see them. What do they look like? Well, they're both me, obviously. At, at different one ages? Is, what? Just the same age. One is, one, is, one is stressed for work. One is, is, is uh, dressed like I'm, you know, what I will wear at night when I, I'm going to sleep. Okay, good. All right, and like I said, you're going to make sure they have a decent conversation and get to know each other differently. So tell them to go ahead and, and uh, get to know each other. And uh, all you need to do is make sure they don't get extreme and, and disrespectful. And just see how it goes as you watch it. Okay. How's it going? Seems, seems good. It seems like uh, I have a feeling that making each other's case, you know? Uh huh. Each of them is making their case. case. Yeah. Yeah. But are they listening to each other? Do you get a sense? Yes. I feel like it's um, while, while one is making the case, the other one is, is saying that they know. Right, like the, the lazy one is saying he wants to relax and, and chill out, but the, the one that works a lot is saying, you know, if we work, then we'll be able to relax in better places. Mm -hmm. You know, we'll be able to relax and, um, and you know, more relaxed with places and mm -hmm. be able to even relax more because mm -hmm. we've earned the, the time to, to relax. Mm -hmm. You know, and the other one is saying, if we don't relax, even when we are working or during the time and we can't work forever, we have to etch out some time to relax or when we do make it, we won't, we won't, we, we won't relax. We still won't relax, even if we yeah. are making it because we feel like if we, if we stop, then we'll go, we'll slip back. Yeah. Okay. So it sounds like a good conversation, actually. Um, yeah. And you get a sense of them starting to get along better or yeah do you have any yeah sense of it? i get a sense that it's i get a sense that it's uh there's an understanding happening between the two that, that, that we're both on the same team that's right and um that you know yeah we're both on the same team and we're and we both serve we both serve purposes. That's right. Like one is, is necessary and the other is necessary as well. That's right. Um, and one can't take too much control. Neither one can have too much control because it won't be good either way. That's right. So there has to be some type of balance. So that's really, really good. That's, where we're, that's what we're shooting for, actually. Um, so see if there is some kind of uh, time sharing arrangement they can work out uh just see if there's any 
solutions starting to emerge between them. Okay. What they come up with? So, um, so we're gonna work from from like uh, morning from nine to to like four, and then at four we we wrap up the day, and then from five on we just we relax. We uh, any any work ideas, any work thoughts that that happen, we just write them down, mm -hmm. and in a journal, and we we. We focus on them the next morning, mm -hmm. but we don't dive into them unless they're critical things. Um, and after five, we we just relax. We uh, spend time with with my son Aiden, mm -hmm. play some games, we watch some movies or some TV. We we cook, um, and we kind of even take the thoughts, even have the thoughts, or almost. If, if I'm going to be thinking about business, I have to get the permission of mm -hmm. the, uh, the lazy part, right? Mm -hmm. Right. Whether this, whether this should be thought out or if it should be, or if, or if it should be written down. Yeah. Um, so there are times he might give of, permission. Yeah. I say, so yeah, there are times he like, might like, give permission. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So you have to get permission from the, because, uh, because I feel like the, even the thoughts are being occupied by one person versus another person. Like there's thoughts of working, there's thoughts of planning and developing, and then there's there's thoughts of um, relaxing or leisure or jokes, you know, like mm -hmm. fun stuff mm -hmm. more so than business stuff. And sometimes they have this. Uh, even when I'm speaking to myself, they have this connection with each other because they I'll be talking about business, but then they will go off to another area, and that's and I guess that's a way for them both to be involved that's right um so i think that uh yeah they have to get permission if we want to talk about uh work stuff during relax time and then have to get permission if we want to do relax time during work time but the work time is not going to be as lenient as the as far that as sounds, that you know, sounds work. perfect to me yeah that's and cool. the reason why is because the reason why the work one doesn't want to allow the lazy one to, to act is because those time, those hours are peak time for my mental capacity to actually work on stuff. Mm -hmm. So if I lose it, it's like I can't pay it back mm -hmm. during the lazy time. It's, I'm right. less motivated during those times. So it's like we have to kind of shut out the the lazy stuff during those times of the day. Of the yeah. Day. You know, I, I like the name the leisure guy better than the lazy guy. Because I don't think he's really lazy. I think he just wants relaxation, right? Right. So, so just check with each of them and make sure they're okay with this arrangement. Uh, they both like it. Okay. And then ask them what they need from you to kind of enforce it or make sure it happens. Um, so they need some type of structure behind it, some type of reminders, mm -hmm. some type of, um, you know, either um, reminders of what time it is, mm -hmm. uh, 
to know when it's time to wrap up, when it's time to relax. Um, also, reminders of when one wants to do something that the other has like to, to be conscious of these things, mm -hmm. to make sure that I'm conscious of when things are slipping either way. So are you willing to do that for them? Yeah. Okay. All right. All right. So thank them for, for trying this out and uh, working this out and see if there's anything else they want you to know before we come back. So the leisure guy is, uh, I feel like is, um, is the most appreciative of the arrangement uh, because I think he, I think that part of me feels like it's been the bad guy. Right. So that's, right. that's right. And so now it's, uh, it feels like it's happy to be heard and to get this to, to realize for me to realize that it is necessary and it is in and it's and it's looking out for me too like it's it's a part of me too it's a it's a it's a, it's a necessary part it's valuable. That I like that's right yeah it's valuable yeah it's a valuable part of me and it's more appreciative that it's it's now going to be able to to do any, and it, it feels like the other part, the work part, uh, will be better at what he does now because That's right. now they aren't fighting. They're in fight. He's not wasting all his energy trying to hold back the other guy. Right. Right. right, right. That's fantastic. Okay, does that feel complete for now? Yeah. Okay. Like a big um, transition, a big load. Yeah, yeah. That's really great, Tyron. So, yeah, I was gonna ask, what was it like to do this? Um, it was good to uh, to look at things in that way, separate them from each other. Yeah. From each other, yeah and then identify what the motives are for mm -hmm. that version of me. Okay. Um, so it's, it's good. Well, you're, you're good at it. And uh, it does take maintenance if, if you're gonna work this out. So my homework to you, if you wanted to do it, would be every day just to check in with each of them and then how they're getting along with each other. And then, like you said, like what they want is for you to kind of monitor things and remind them of, of the agreements. And uh, if you do that every day, this, this actually works. How does that sound? Okay. Yeah. So what I'm going to do, what I, what I do is uh, every morning I, I do a little journal. Mm -hmm. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'm going to write in a journal and the perspective of those parts. And as I'm thinking about it, um, is one the leisure part. I think the original battle comes from the leisure part, uh, not so much having a schedule, especially at night, and stealing hours away or taking or spending more hours up later. And then so now when it's when it's time to wake up, the uh, the work part has less energy and has less okay. exactly. wakes up later. And, the rush, you know, and then it's, but I think it starts very from the red from night to big morning. Mm -hmm. It's just, and it's, and it's really a tug of war for time. Mm -hmm. A tug of war for attention, a tug of war for, um, 
for being in control, basically. That's right. Exactly. So I think that um, by having this discussion, I will probably be better off, better at getting into bed at a better time, mm -hmm. you know, because now I've allowed that leisure part to have its time. That's right. Where it doesn't have to spend more time at night trying to, you know, stay awake as much as I can to increase his time and control, exactly. you know. It's really great. It's all really true. Yeah. Uh, so uh, I'm going to stop in a minute, but I really enjoyed working with you today. And uh, uh, it's been great. Yeah. And uh, the arrangement we have, I, I, I don't know if they told you this, but uh, if you were okay with it, I'd be interested in using this as a demo for some of this process. But the deal is you can look at it over and there's no pressure. So if you're not up for it, um, not, not a problem. So uh, we can send it to you, you look at it again, which will help you remind yourself of, of what you did. And then you can decide whether or not you let me use it. Okay. Does that work for you? Yeah, I think, yeah, I, I think it's, yeah, send it to me. I mean, I, I couldn't see any reason why I wouldn't let you use it. I, I think it's it's been valuable, and I think that um, it's uh, it's been clear. It's not like a foggy. Mm -hmm. It's not like a foggy. Um, I can I can clearly see the two parts. I can clearly see how it works. I can clearly see how it's going to help me after this. Mm -hmm. um, so I think that it's. I think it'll be a great training video for anyone else who's watching. They can see the two polarities in me as well it really will because so be good. Yeah. this is a polarity that many many people have and uh and you're just great at, at exemplifying how to work it so uh, but again no pressure if, if it doesn't feel right that's fine but um you know we'll, we'll follow up and just check and see how you feel about it okay perfect and then also, if you ever wanted to do more of this, there are uh, a number of people trained in this that uh, uh, can help you do that. So uh, I don't know how you got asked to do this, uh, if it was through somebody in Black Therapist Rock or? Yeah, it was um, Duran. Her and I have, you know, we speak a lot and um, okay. she shared with me what you guys do and I, I, I expressed to her that I took a, a similar program that's, that really uh, just redefines the world from our basic understanding of it. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and she said, yeah, you'd be perfect. From our conversation, she was like, a lot of stuff that you're speaking about, you kind of already know a lot of yeah. what we learned here. It's just that it's broken down in a different way. And she explained to me her parts as far as, because we have a similar background as far as our family is concerned and everything else. Okay. So she's the one who um, recommend that I, you know, get on this call. Okay, so, good. So she could uh, help you find somebody if you wanted to do more of the work. Right. Okay, well, I, I'm very, very grateful that you were willing to do this and uh, hope someday I see you in person. Yeah, for sure. It's been great, thanks. Okay, Tanya. Bye-bye. All right.